Hi, it's Mrs. Michael. And today we're gonna make a cup car. It's a super fun experiment. It's a little complicated. So if you are in third grade or lower, you're probably going to need to have a grown up help you. But the fun thing is once it's built, you can just play with it and play with it. This is one of my son's favorite activities. You're gonna need quite a few supplies. If you have one of the kits, you have everything already. If you don't have the kits, they're actually pretty easy to get the different supplies if you go around to your house. So you're going to need two paper cups. I got these from Johnny Rockets. They were wonderful in allowing us to use some of their products. You need two cup lids that go on top of the cups. The ones that I found are easiest are the ones that have the straw hole in the middle. You don't have to have that, but it's just easier. You need a rubber band. You need a pony bead, just something for um, your car to work a little bit easier. You need a paper clip, preferably one of the bigger paper clips. You need a dull pencil, meaning a pencil that isn't sharpened. You need a sharpened pencil. A pen can work also. You don't necessarily need a washer. You can also use a penny for part of it. Um, and the other part is that it's just, it's helpful again to work with the friction, which we'll talk about in a little bit. You need a pair of scissors and you need some tape. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take one of your cups and you're gonna put it facing down and take your washer. Again, if you don't have a washer, you can use a penny. Put it in the middle of the bottom of your cup and use your sharp pencil to color around the hole. So you should make a circle. Sorry. You should make a circle right about in the center. And you're going to do this with both cups. Once you have your circles, then you need to cut them out. So this is where having a pencil or a sharp pen will work. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to poke a hole in the middle of it. And then I'm going to use my scissors and I'm going to carefully cut it out. It doesn't have to be an absolutely perfect circle, but you want it to be more. It's more important that it's close to the center of the cup than it is that the hole is a perfect circle. So here is one of my holes. I'm going to do the same with the other cup. So as you can tell, as I'm cutting this, I'm doing very, very little cuts, very little snips in order to get as close of a circle as I can. And there we go. I'm now going to take my two cups and I'm going to tape them together with their bottoms touching like this. Again, I have clear tape. You can use any kind of tape. You can use masking tape. You can use duct tape. It doesn't really matter. The main thing is that we want the two cups to be together. Now remember how I told you that you need to have the holes in the middle? The reason why it's best to have the holes in the middle is you should be able to see right through both cups with the hole. Now, once you've done that, this is where it starts to get a little bit tricky. So let me show you the next step. Now, this is where it can get kind of tricky if you're younger. So if you're in third grade or lower, definitely make sure you have a grown up or a guardian nearby that can help you. First step is you're gonna take your rubber band, you can stretch it out once or twice, just to get it nice and stretchy. And then you're gonna thread the end of the rubber band through the paper clip. Once you thread it, it's gonna be a lot easier to do the next step. You're gonna put the paper clip through the holes of the cup, catch it on the other side. Then you'll see on the other side, see how the rubber or the paper clip's right there? You're gonna move the paper clip so that if you stretch the rubber band, it doesn't go anywhere, it just sort of stays there for a second. So I'm gonna keep my finger here and I'm gonna grab one of my lids. So what we wanna do, and this is where it can get kind of tricky where it helps to have an extra set of hands. 
is I'm going to feed the rubber band through the straw hole of the lid. I'm going to put the lid on. Then I'm gonna take my pencil and put it through. We're not done, but we're getting close. So then on this other side, I'm going to take this, I'm gonna move my paper clip so that it's now at the bottom. I'm going to feed this all the way through. Close it up and put the paper clip along like this. We are just about there. I know it seems like we're gonna be going backwards and forwards, but we're really not. It actually is a lot easier. So now that we're here, we're gonna stretch this out, take this off. We're gonna put the washer on. Oops. Put the washer on. The so it looks like that. We're gonna put the pony bead on. Pony bead is always the trickiest one. Sometimes it takes a couple tries, even if you've done this lots of times, but that's okay. There we go. And then I'm going to put this back on so it looks like this. So to see if you've done it right, on one side, you've got your pencil, you've got the pony bead, and you've got the washer at the bottom. On the other side, you've got the rubber band and the paper clip. So now we're done with our car and it's time for us to play with it. But it doesn't do very much right now. So what we need to do is we need to build up some energy. So if we spin this and we spin it, and we spin it, and we spin it, and we spin it. What we're doing is we're building up potential energy. So this rubber band inside is being spun around and around and around. It's getting twisted and twisted and twisted, getting harder and harder and harder. So you can tell when it's just about ready to go, or if you move your finger, it starts to wind back a little bit. So once you're spinning it and it really wants to push back on you, then you're ready to go. So let's move to the floor and see what happens. Okay, I'm now on the floor. I'm ready to try out my cup car. Here it is. That was so fun. Okay, that was fun. But let's talk about the science behind it. So when we were turning the pencil, we were building potential energy. So the rubber band is neutral. It doesn't have a lot of energy when it's just sitting there. When we're stretching it, we're adding potential energy, energy that can be used. So when we were twisting it and having it stretched, we were getting more and more and more and more potential energy so that it can give more and more and more kinetic energy. Kinetic just means action, so action energy. In this case, the action was motion. Now, because this cup car is made out of recycled products for the most part, it's not gonna work forever, but it does work for quite a while. Now, why did we need the bead and the washer? Both of them help reduce friction. So friction is like tiny little grooves, tiny little bumps that slow down motion. So if we just had the pencil that we were twisting around with the rubber band, it would have worked, but the pencil would have been rubbing all along the edges of the cup lid, and so it would have been providing friction and would have slowed it down. So by putting both the washer and the pony bead on there, we were reducing the amount of friction, so then that way it could go even faster. Now I know Mr. Paredes really likes cars and he likes playing with toys. So let's see if he can make this cup car really fly. Here I go. Yay!
Thank you, Johnny Rockets of Manhattan Beach, for donating the cups and lids for today's experiment. And thank you to the Wiseburn Education Foundation for supporting Week of Science.